Hi again, everybody. It is October 17th, and we're here for a little sex chat and LinkedIn games, so <laughs> do with that what you will. <laughs> Uh, I also would love to play some star battles if we have some time because they're very similar to Queens uh, which is my favorite LinkedIn puzzle so um, I know again this is kind of early in the day for a lot of Americans it's 2 p.m. where I am um, which means it's about 11 in the morning which is not really the best time to try to have these kind of conversations so what I'm doing is picking a topic to just chit chat about in between games and if you want to weigh in on that or any of the topics up here um, or anything you want to chat about in regards to sex and sexuality, feel free to give me a call um, and interrupt me at any time, leave a comment. Otherwise, um, today we're going to be talking about virginity. And um, again, every day I'm just going to pick a new sex or sexuality related topic to chat about. We tried this yesterday and I think it was really, really well. Um, we talked about uh, what it is to be non-binary non and that was really a nice conversation with myself so <laughs> I anticipate this will be the same because <laughs> it's just such an early time and I'm, I'm aware of that again we're going to try to do some evening time uh, chats where you can call in and again we're not debating this is not an argument we're not trying to you know uh, be at heads or at odds with each other I really would love to know your thoughts and opinions um, when it comes to these topics or or really anything that's on your mind in regards to sex and sexuality. So I'll be playing Roblox in the evening with my five-year-old. She'll be in a different room so we can <laughs> um, definitely have some uh, more adult chats, um, I think later in the evening. So with all that being said, let's start our uh, daily LinkedIn puzzles. Um, I like to start with cross climb, which is my least favorite. And then I go to my most favorite, which is of course queen. Um, and I guess just to kind of preface you with the whole virginity thing, my stance on it is just that it's not that important. <laughs> it's not that serious. It's been put on this pedestal for both men and women or boys and girls um, to su in such a way that's so debilitating and, and um, makes girls feel like they have this special gift that they must bequeath unto some lucky male or, you know, it's just, I think it's, it's like a one-time thing once you cross this threshold you never think about it again and and you know so why put so much pressure on yourself for a thing that matters for all of five minutes so <laughs> i think it just creates too much of a high expectation for the act um it makes it feel like sex is this uh again lofty thing that you have to put on a pedestal which I, I just disagree with um, especially when it comes to like the religiosity behind why virginity is perceived to be so important um, yeah so that's my stance and we'll talk more about that as we uh, finish our game so let's start with cross climb and again I just it's just not that difficult so beverage that might be sold at a vineyard we'll say wine I keep doing that I hit enter um, mind your own business. Uh, outdoor force that might ruin one's hair. I'm going to guess that's wind. Um, to heal is to mend. Monetary punishment for littering. I'd say fine. And then we have to put these in order. So fine, wine, wind, mind, mend. And now we have to figure out the top and bottom row. Uh, a two word term for a drop down in a computer program with the options like save and opened. That'd be file menu. And I actually have it uh, in order, so that's nice. Sometimes you get the bottom one at the top and it's like menu file, like what's that? So anyway, cross climb. What, we got that in less than a minute, so <laughs> this is just not the most difficult. Um, but it's a cute little puzzle. So that was nice. Uh, well done, everybody. <laughs> um, sometimes I do get stuck on these. So, you know, forgive me for, you know, being so flippant about it. But, um, yeah, that one was pretty easy. Um, so next, let's play Pinpoint. And while we are between games, I guess I would like to just, again, discuss my thoughts on virginity a little bit further. 
Um, another issue that I find with um, virginity is just that uh, this whole issue of the hymen. Um, if you're not familiar, little girls uh, are born with in their vagina this sort of uh, membranous um, I can't even say covering uh, because it's a lot of times it's just like this extra skin essentially uh, or membranous like thin skin on the entrance of the vagina and um, so you'll see in romance novels and um, movies when when the girl has to lose her virginity that it's always oh this thing where it's gonna hurt so badly because the the man has to break through the hymen and it's gonna bleed and it's gonna be so painful and yes I, for a lot of girls and women who have sex for the first time that is true but for a lot of girls it's not um, and all that that pain and bleeding has to do with the hymen rupturing um, but it's just not the case that that happens all the time. Sometimes girls hymens are broken long before they have sex. Um, sometimes they don't have one. Sometimes they have sex and they, their hymen remains intact. So it just, it just really doesn't, you know, it's just not a one-to-one -one that your hymen breaking means that you are no longer a virgin. I mean, you know, you no longer being a virgin just has to do with you having sex. So that association, I think, is erroneous, um, and I don't like it. So <laughs> just something a lot of people don't know either, that A, there's uh, this whole body part people don't know about, and B, that, you know, it really just doesn't have much to do with uh, virginity for a lot of women. So yeah, let's play pinpoint. That's my second thought about virginity. <laughs> all right, so all five clues have to have a common category, house. I'm going to say fly, maybe. Bath. House. Bath. Bubble bath. Bubble. Bouncy house. Bounce bath. Um, house. Wine. Bath. Time. House. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe rooms? House? No. House room. Things that have rooms. Okay. I don't know. Bath. Ba no, not bathe. House, bath, <laughs> house and bath. I don't know. I want to say TV. Watching. House, bath, watching. You're probably watching this like it's such and such. I don't know. House, bath, watching open I don't know everybody let's see oh birds bird oh bird bath bird house bird watching bird of prey okay I should have got that one a little sooner the next one would have been of a feather blocked again <laughs> all right so it took us four guesses to get that that's not very not a very good performance sorry <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so as we set up our third game, which is going to be Tango, which I'm actually starting to enjoy. It's still fairly easy um, comparatively, but uh, I enjoy it. But um, I'll tell you how I lost my virginity, <laughs> if you like. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I talked about it a little bit in my um, 30 Reasons telethon. Uh, I was running a Kickstarter to try to uh, help me get some funding to build out the coursework around um, the different le lessons on sex and sexuality that I'm building. Um, and so in my telethon, I talked about how, um, well, what happened when I lost my virginity. Or did I? I don't know if I did. Oh, I don't think I did. Also, this is like a brand new story. If you've never heard anything from me, then this you'll or if you've heard everything from me you're, you're hearing this for the first time um but yeah I lost my virginity in the most cliche of ways <laughs> totally cliche um I was 16 it was oh let's see did I do that okay I was like oh my gosh it wasn't live for a second I had a little bit of a heart attack <laughs> but no I, <laughs> I was 16 it was 
my junior prom night, I was with my boyfriend of maybe a year and some change at this point, um, who I met at a church overnight sleepover camp, which was crazy in itself. But anyway, so we've been dating for a year and a half, I think at this point. He uh, takes me to my junior prom at Independence High School. Um, the prom was at this like weird Mormon temple, I don't know. Um, but it was pretty, it was nice. And then of course, uh, we rented a Cadillac, <laughs> like a really nice Cadillac town car or something like that. So I lost my virginity in the back seat of this Cadillac at 16 on prom night. Like you can't get more cliche than that. You just can't. Um, but the embarrassing part for me <laughs> was that um, my boyfriend, once he put it in, he said, he said, are you sure you're a virgin? <laughs> Talk about the most embarrassing thing to like ever happen to a girl. So I learned later in life that, you know, genitals have different sizes and so you know he was a little smaller I'm, I'm a little bigger sure but yeah so that wasn't the best way to find out though and so <laughs> I digress um let's move on to tango and if you want to share your virginity losing story or if you haven't lost your virginity virginity yet I'd love to know uh what you're waiting for or what your uh hope for your first time is I'm sorry Dad. No, uh, but yeah, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, uh, and let's move on to Tango. Now, this game, you have to uh, have an even amount of suns and moons on either on each row in each column, uh, but you can't have more than two in a row. And also, whenever you see these symbols, uh, the X, you have to have opposite symbols on either side of that. And if you see the equals, you have to have the same symbol on either side of that. So um, let's keep going. So we see two, excuse me, two suns here. So we know that has to be a moon. We know this has to be a sun because you can't have more than two in a row. This will have to be a moon because you can't have an uneven amount in a row or column. All right. So since we know, let's see. Let's find something a little easy to sink our teeth into. All right, so here we need two suns and a moon. Oh, let's do some easy things here. So we have the two moons here, have to have a sun, have to have a sun. That has to be opposite, that has to be opposite. This one has to be the same. So this has to be opposite and you can't have more than two in a row can't have more than two in a row can't have more than two in a row um, and now we need another Sun to complete this row need another moon to complete this row and we need two suns and a moon for this row so let's see uh, that's not giving me too much so we need a Sun and a moon here uh, I tell you what, we cannot have a sun here or a sun here. Oh, okay. Tango getting a little challenging. So let's see. And of course, again, you're probably like, put this there. Put this right there. Feel free to jump in the comments because I am not a genius. I'm not, you know, particularly skilled at puzzles. I just enjoy them. Um, so if you're seeing something I don't see, definitely let me know. Okay. And I think I've figured this out. So this column. We have three suns and we need three moons. So we can only put moons here. This has to be the opposite and that has to be the opposite of that. So moon, moon, moon. Uh, now we can kind of hopefully finish this off pretty easily. So this one we need two suns and a moon. And so the sun and moon are definitely going to go here because you have to have the opposite. And since we need two suns, that can only go here. So then we need a moon here and the opposite there is a sun. Uh, that's equal there. Can't have more than two in a row. Can't have more than two in a row. And then we need another moon. I'm sorry, another sun for this row. Uh, now we can just kind of 
figure out what we're missing. And there you go. Oh, that was a little tricky in this corner. But well done, everybody. So Tango number 10. This is a brand new puzzle that they're doing. It's about a week old. Um, well, 10 days old now. <laughs> so yeah, that was awesome. I like when they're more challenging, don't you? I think so anyway. Um, hi. How are you? Somebody's awake. Can you see mommy? Hi. <laughs> she just had a big bottle. Some peaches and bananas. You wanna go to sleep? He's just grinning at me. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Did you get any rest? She has a nap like she used to, <laughs> which is okay. All right, so um, I guess my final thought on virginity is just that, you know, it's played up so much for girls. Um, but I really hate how it's not really a thing for guys. Like, it's that's a special time for men, too, and when they first have sex. And, um, you know, first of all, I think it's, like, so much pressure put on guys to be so perfect right away. Like, it's going to take a long time to not only figure out your partner but just to figure out the mechanics and all that so I just think with uh, virginity as a whole if the the pressure could be distributed a little bit more evenly across the genders that would be amazing hi friend good morning how you feeling did you have a nice sleep <laughs> but I think also um <laughs> You know, it's not really something that's discussed um, for anything other than men and women in heterosexual relationships. Um, mm -hmm. I think that when it comes to, like, lesbian sex, that um, that's not really explained or, or taught very <laughs> well or at all in uh, sex ed courses. So, you know, I... I, you know, I'm a pansexual woman, so I remember the first time I had sex with a woman, it was just disastrous. I thought I knew everything, because I'm a girl, you know, I know what's going on down there. No, I like, so I really would have enjoyed some tutelage <laughs> in my lesbian virginity lossage, I guess. Um, and so I, I can't imagine it's any better for gay men who have so many considerations when you're thinking about anal sex for the first time, so. I can't even imagine. And then also even oral sex. And um, yeah, it's just like, there's just nothing out there to really tell you what to expect. And even those expectations for heteronormative sex aren't that great. So again, if you are so inclined or if you agree, go to sexwithsophie.com, create a free membership and join me in trying to shore up some of these gaps. I mean, that's my job. I'm Sophie. I'm the host of sexwithsophie.com. I teach people how to talk to each other about sex. And so I think that for versions of all sorts, non-binary versions, trans versions, <laughs> I think we need to be able to have um, a repository of information for all types of virgins. Um, and again, put a little less pressure and onus on one particular gender to try to uh, be responsible for all of that knowledge. Um, so yeah, so that's my two cents on virginity. And let's do our final LinkedIn puzzle. And then if we have some time, if she, if she lets us, we'll do a few star battles, okay? All right, so with queens, um, you're looking for one crown in each row, each column, and in each colored shape. And so with this one, you have some pretty hard and fast rules. So if your shape or if your uh, color fits in an entire row or a column, you can't have a star outside in that color outside of it. So everything in that shape outside of this row can go like this red. Um, when you're only looking for one crown, I keep wanting to say star because star battles use the stars. Um, when you're only looking for one crown, you can omit some things that you might not in other names. For instance, like if you uh, had a star here, it would eliminate not only this brown, 
um, because you can't have anything around the crown, um, it also would take away this entire row. So you can't have a star here. Um, you can't have a star here. You can't have a star here because it would eliminate everything around it, including all of that green, which means now you can't have a star here because it would take away all of this purple. Can't have a star here because it would take away all of the orange. So now that leaves us with a purple that's only within this column. So we can take away everything else in that column, just like where if you know the crown has to be in this row, it can't be outside of that color, outside of that row. Um, let's see, if there's anything else we can kind of chunk down. Again, chunking is my word. So you can't have a star here because that would take away these and all of this. Um, let's see what else we got. Can't have a star here because that would eliminate all three of these. Um, now we can only have a green in this column and now we're finally getting to where we can identify that the blue crown must be here. So we can take away everything around it, everything in its column, everything in its row. You okay? What's up? Hi, oh, are you okay? <laughs> She's so cute. She's just waking up. <laughs> so now we can only have brown in this column. So we can take away everything else in that column. Now the green, green, the orange is only in this column, so we can take away everything, or in this row, so we can take away everything else in this row. Sorry. And we know that since the orange has to be here, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Somebody's up. You up, up, up. You up, up, up. Hi, sweetheart. Here, I'm turning you around. You wanna see? We can't have crowns here. Uh, crowns or stars. I know I keep saying either or. Um, you can't have them here because it would eliminate the orange altogether. What are you doing? What you saying? So now <laughs> we know the yellow can only be in this column, so we can't have anything here. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi, baby. What you doing? All right, so... Let's start. She is so funny. All right, so let's see what else we can start to eliminate. So again, with this two, you can only have, uh, you can't have a star here because it would eliminate all of the purple. Um, so now we know, <laughs> hi, how are you? Good morning. You got all the big smiles today. What you doing? Did you have sweet dreams? Did you have sweet dreams? What did you dream about? Uh, come here, you wanna see? Oh no. <laughs> she went back. That's okay. Here. You okay? All right, let's finish our game. So I don't think we'll have any star battles to get today. Somebody wants some attention, which is just fine. All right, but let's see if we can crack this one, okay? All right, so we have one. Oh, this is the one I was thinking. We have one, two, um, and these can only be in the, this row, this row, and this column, and in this column. The columns are accounted for. There's nothing else in these columns, but the rows, we can take away everything else in those rows because there can only be a, a crown here or here for the yellow and the and the brown. So that leaves this gray as the only uh, possible crown for here. So we can take every every take everything away that's in its column and in its row. So that leaves our purple, which leaves our green, which leaves our orange, that was already left, which leaves our red and now our brown and yellow. So here we go. <laughs> five minutes off <laughs> probably wouldn't have taken that long but um i do like to kind of explain as i go so that's it for our puzzles for linkedin today for october 17th and uh thanks for letting me share my thoughts on virginity 
if you have any thoughts on virginity, <clears throat> on sex, on sexual topics, on um, any of the topics that are listed. <clears throat> listen here. <laughs> then uh, please call in um, in the evening when we come back at a more reasonable hour and let me know. Um, or leave me a comment, find me on social media, or simply go to sexwithsophie.com. Hi, say hi. Hi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get it. I'm going to get that nose. I got that nose. Alrighty, friends. Uh, Dave's gonna get some loving, and I'll talk to you later. You're kicking it. Say bye. Yeah, say bye. <laughs> She's like, I'm good. Bye.